polymerase enzyme for the sequencing. But uh, the solid actually um, solid has not used um, uh, any um, DNA polymerase in the uh, uh, polymerase for the sequencing, but it use uh, oligonucleotide uh, sorry uh, dinucleotide uh, which is fluorescently labeled fluorescently labeled dinucleotide and is use an enzyme called ligase. So, it use an enzyme called ligase it do not use a polymerase. What it uh, uh, done is that it will allow dinucleotides which is fluorescently labeled to uh, sorry it is not dinucleotide it is oligonucleotide I think sorry. Uh, so, we will go through that. So, sequencing by ligation the library preparation is same with emulsion PCR which we seen in the 454 just like 454 we do emulsion PCR and uh, uh, we will get the DNA fragments uh, which is uh, uh, which is amplified in the beads just like by uh, in the 454. So, beads will be placed in a solid phase of a flow cell. So, beads are just like 454 beads will be placed in a, in a chamber just like uh, here we guys we have seen the flow cell. Uh, we will keep the beads amplified beads in the flow cell. If you follow the 454 only you can understand because I have already taken it it is not. So, then what we do is that uh, okay. dinucleotide only sorry it, it has shown multiple nucleotide in the picture. Uh, so, uh, we just added dinucleotide dinucleotides we uh, yes, dinucleotide only it is shown here also ok. Dinucleotides which is labeled fluorescently labeled dinucleotides we will add to the mixture. A mixture of uh, a different dinucleotide A T, G C, C T, C T, A T like that different uh, mixture of uh, dinucleotide fluorescently labeled dinucleotide is pumped through the flow cell. If the correct di each dinucleotide have as a different fluorescent color. If the correct dinucleotide is incorporated to the template DNA, if the correct dinucleotide pairs with the template DNA, what it happen? The uh, what it happen is that ligase will come and ligate that uh, that dinucleotide to the growing chain. is incorporated uh, the, it is ligated to, onto a pre, pre built primer on the solid phase. So, this is a, this is a primer. So, we know that it is a primer which is will be present in the sequencing machine and uh, as the correct dinucleate is uh, incorporated the ligase will ligate and uh, attach it to the growing chain. So, next dinucleate will come here hmm? if the correct it is 80 if the correct dinucleate will come here the ligase will come and attach this dinucleate to the growing chain. So, depending on which fluorescent dinucleate I have that fluorescence would be emitted during each incorporation of each dinucleate that is all. This is solid now but this methodology is not being used today. The washed out in, uh, unincorporated props and fluorescence are um, so uh, as the um, as the ligation uh, after the ligation. Uh, the unincorporated props have been washed out and the fluorescence will be captured and recorded. The fluorescence tell which dinucleate is incorporated. Each fluorescent wave will correspond to a particular dinucleate combination. So, we know that a particular dinucleate has a particular fluorescence. Here there is no uh, DNA polymerase, but if a dinucleate paired with a uh, DNA sequence ligase will come and fill the or uh, seal the gap. Then the fluorescent dye is removed and washed for the next taken cycle. Uh, although b 1 billion reads in, in a single run can be achieved, limitation of the system is short sequence length of uh, 50 nucleotide or read length only can be done for, uh, uh, but accuracy is very high, but uh, the read length we are trying with the third generation sequencing with a very high read length, but uh, here the read length is so less, uh, so like this 
dinucleated each dinucleated is been incorporated as one nucleated comma ligase will come and seal second dinucleated comma ligase will come and seal the third dinucleated comma ligase will come and seal like that like that like that each uh, uh, cycles uh, each dinucleated is incorporated but uh, the read length here in solid is uh, very less